Good morning. This is Bill Arsenal on the Legrand Sub N Scale. This is the beginning of a probably multiple part series on how to take your scenery from this to this. It's not very hard. It just takes a little bit of time. I use a formula of ground goop that was pioneered, I guess, by Lou Sassy. And I use this material, blue foam, to make my basic landform shapes. I've shaped them with rasps and uh, knives, but mostly uh, uh, sure, foam, sure foam tools. And as you can see, there's a lot of gaps in this foam. Now one way to handle this so that you're not using a lot of ground goop and or ballast in between tracks is a method that I've seen on the YouTube somewhere and I don't remember where or who. But it's this material here. Low loft batting used for quilts. My uh, partner in crime, Carol, cuts it into strips for me. It takes a real sharp pair of scissors and I use it similarly as people use plaster cloth. Now, once you get these, uh, this material cut, I use full strength Mod Podge, but I think I'm going to start reducing that down to 50-50. And you brush the stuff on and you lay this low loft batting on here and just glue it down. Then once the glue is dry, you come back with ground goop and the, the glue and vermiculite in it adheres to this stuff as well as the foam as like you see here. This is just ground goop on foam. But when you got all these little cavities here, it's going to use up a lot of material. So I've started using this low loft material. And I'll just like here, see where this, these two big gaps are? If you glue this stuff on, it creates a smooth scenery base. And if you work it a little bit, you can still get like a little valley in there. Get it down off the backdrop there. And you glue it down. And then you put the ground goop over it. When everything dries, it's solid. Now, in order to plant a tree, I just use a regular nail. And come over here. I put it in, into the ground. Press it down and then wiggle it around them and wiggle it around. <laughs> I guess it would help if I showed you. <clears throat> but you plant it in the ground. Well, hell, let's just plant a tree right here. So you press the stuff, the, the nail down in and you wiggle it around like such. Okay? It gives you room for the tree trunk. Now I make my own trees and let me go get a tree let's go get a tree hold on okay i'm back then you take a little bit of white glue and you just put a dab in this hole that's all you got to do just a little bitty dab then you take your tree place it in the hole Push it down, and there you go. That's how you plant a tree. <laughs> when it dries, the glue disappears. And as you can see, this scenery system works quite well. And this is where the track disappears into my helix. It just disguises the opening a little bit and distracts the eye. So it is a good system. And that's all there is to it. 
I've used a little bit of static grass. Well, actually, well, quite a bit of static grass. Some fine leaf foliage. And my own handmade homemade trees. Uh, this is uh, clump foliage for bushes. I've got another method that I'm going to try. But for right now, that's the easy system. And look at the ballasting. I will do a short video soon on how to ballast track like this very easily. And it's not near as tedious as everybody seems to make it out to be. Where you have to use brushes and everything else in order to get track ballasted. Here's a turnout that's ballasted. Even under the points. So, that'll be coming in the future. But as you can see, it has a realistic profile. And it's not all over the ties and rail. And it works like a champ. That'll be coming soon. So, stand by and stay tuned. If you have any comments or questions, please feel free to ask. Have a good week. Bye-bye.